हेलो एवरी वन एंड वेलकम बैक टू माई चैनल टूडेज वीडियो अबाउट द टाटा सफारी एडवेंचर परसोना लाइक ऑलवेज लेट स्टार्ट द कलर ऑप्शन एंड द वेरियंट स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम द कलर ऑप्शन द कलर ऑप्शन आर रॉयल ब्लू ट्रॉपिकल मिस्ट दिस इज नॉट द एडवेंचर परसोना कलर डायटोना ग्रे ऑर्कस वाइट and the final color tropical mist adventure if i talk about the variants the variants of this car are xe xm xt xt plus xz xz plus xz adventure and xz plus adventure now let's get deeper into this video starting from the basic facts this car is made in land rover's d8 omega platform and under the hood is a 2 liter cryotech engine producing 168 bhp and 350 nm of torque the mileage is 14.08 kmpl starting from the walk around from the front you get a very bold harrier inspired front the only change is it has a stylish tri arrow grille with a tata logo in the middle given above is a safari badging which you only get in this adventure persona variant that is the normal variant outside coming down you have automatic xenon hid projector headlamps which you even get in the harrier and you even have a lion picture it looks so cool this is the halogen fog lamp when you look down you notice that you have stylish dual tone bumper with a mesh pattern the overall front is very nice and it's inspired from the harrier there are rain sensing wipers and the bonnet position is high which gives it an suv stance down you have charcoal 18 inch alloys front you get disc brakes and at back also you get disc brakes so you can take a one frame look at the side portion and side portion is very big and this is the gloss black finish door handle with a request sensor there is gloss black finish everywhere and rough black finishes too side portion is inspired half from the harrier and half from the safari storm and this is the piano black finished orvm with an indicator led indicator above you have iconic safari signature roof rail and this also hides the roof going upwards this is the panoramic sunroof i'll talk about it in a while this is the third row window it's big window The ground clearance is two zero five mm, length is four six six one mm, width is one eight nine four mm, and the height is one seven four six mm, and the wheelbase is two seven six one mm. Let's close the boot, and I'll show you the rear portion. All right, this is the rear portion. It's inspired from the Harrier and the Veller. This is the LED tail lamps. In the Safari, you get two LED lines. In the Harrier, you only get one. You have reverse lamp and indicator. Tata logo in the middle, and there is a gloss black finish which I really like. There's a reverse camera, and there is a stylish Safari badging finished in gloss black. Down you have charcoal black bumper. it's not dual tone this area of the safari the normal safari is in silver you have a fake exhaust the real exhaust is a uh, down over here let me show you it's over there and you also have a spare tire which is steel so cost cutting over there reverse parking sensors and there is a lion family picture there is a rear wiper and above you have a rear stop lamp with a stylish spoiler the spoiler really enhances the rear looks and i really love it now let's open the boot of the safari 
this is the massive boot of the safari when you fold the third row seats you get 447 liters of boot space there is a luggage lamp available and here are the tools like i showed you in the harrier even the harrier gets it let me just unfold the seats to give you a brief idea how much liters of boot space you get with the third rows up so let's even unfold this boot okay so now you have a brief idea and with the third row seats up you get 73 liters of boot space and when you fold the second row and third row you get extra 9-10 liters of boot space right now i'm sitting inside the tata safari and it still has that king type position but not as much as the old safari the position inside the car but the old safari is king the leg room is good the headroom is also good i have a good leg room thanks to the scooped out seat bags there are also magazine holders and the front seat is quite low because the rear seat is in a much higher position now guys this is a really cool feature which is known as boss mode you could push the seat front the front seat when you are sitting at the back you could even mess with your friends just for fun don't take it seriously this is the ac vent right over here and there's no ac above because of the panoramic sunroof you could put mobile over here or something else gloss black finish and mm, there is an armrest over here it feels quite soft there is a lighting over here the lighting looks very nice power window button jbl speakers and there are hard touches and soft touches and there is again cool gloss black finish you have bottle holders because there is a panoramic sunroof the reading lamp is given at the side it's led you get a good brightness you have at the two sides now i'll show you the third row but because this is a captain seat variant you can't fold the seat you have to walk right in which will be very uncomfortable for adults third row of safari you have features like storage space and the control for the ac vents right over there and in this row you have two usb ports and some storage space down and the under thigh support is very bad and the headroom is good and the leg room too the third row is okay type to me and there are two adjustable headrests luckily the above given is an led reading lamp again this is a very bright reading lamp okay so let's get out of the third row and let's go to the first row all right now i'm in the first row and first things first you notice you have cool ac vents a glove box with a light quite big glove box you have gloss black finish this is the touchscreen infotainment system i'll talk about it in a while you have control for the touchscreen ac vents hazard buttons and this is the automatic climate control system there is a button to activate the auto ac and you have this light over here bottle holders and some storage space gloss black finish a handle and i really like this premium door handles and this is where you unlock and lock the car drive modes and traction control button and over there is hill down assist and this is the six speed manual gearbox you even have an option for automatic gearbox which is sourced from hyundai I really like the finish over here and there there is a charging socket three cup holders armrest this is the signature tata steering wheel 
with gloss black finishes audio control cruise control and that is the instrument cluster with driver information and there are control for the lights and this is the controls for the sunroof and the controls for the light you can separately turn on the lights but you can't touch and turn it on there's a dummy button over there and i really like this mirror auto dimming mirror and this is the vanity mirror with a light in the driver side you don't get a vanity mirror i'll also give you a brief idea how it's like the driver seat first of all you have power window controls orvm controls start stop button and this ac vent gloss black finish and this is the six way adjustable driver seat i really like these types of adjustment it looks very cool and futuristic so you can see i'm adjusting the seat now i'll show you the touch screen the touch screen is having quite good graphics you have android auto apple car play phone radio and you could also change the color from blue to red or green by just clicking the zen over there there is a button to unmute or mute settings but if the car is uh, started then only you can change the colors or else it won't let you there is also a settings for brightness vehicle setup audio setup phone setup volume setup button and to control all these you have to turn on the car there are many more buttons this touch screen also shows you the time but the time is not right right now it's showing 8 o'clock the current time i'm recording is 5:50 or something you even have usb option voice command and you have many more controls so that was it for today guys and by the way the safari is front wheel drive so that was it if you like my video like my video share my video and subscribe to my channel for more video i'll meet you in my next video thank you